Hi, Jim Farr here from the Framingham History Center. I'm standing here in the Old Academy building and I'm at the display of straw hats in the straw hat industry in Framingham. This was a big business here about 200 years ago. It started with women and, and daughters making straw hats, braiding the straw in their homes. And eventually there were two straw hat factories here in Framingham. One of the buildings still exists downtown. Go look for it. Um, so we, there's quite a display here. If you come in, you can learn all about how a straw hat is made and the impact that the industry had on Framingham and really the entire country. So here is a poem that I've written from Milestones called How to Make a Straw Hat. After harvesting the rye, leave it in the sun to dry. Bundle it and trim the strands. It's sharp, be careful of your hands. With nimble fingers and a firm grip, braid or plait it into strips. With practice, your straw braids can get quite beautiful and intricate. When you've braided your last row, grab a needle, it's time to sew. The strips will form the crown and brim. Stitch these together and add some trim. Put a fancy ribbon on it, now you have a stylish bonnet.